Here we're going to learn how to load the performance data into the CRJ700 FMS. So from the performance function key, we go to the perf init page. The things that we want to input and verify here, we want to start off by verifying that our basic operating weight, 44,188 pounds, matches the release. Then we're going to move down to our passenger weight. We're going to add in the total number of passengers that we have in the airplane. 70 that puts it into the scratch pad and then line select L2 to load in the 70 passengers that we have. Summer weights are 184 pounds and winter weights are 189 so we can put in slash 189 for winter weights and then line select L2 to give 70 passengers at 189 pounds each. Cargo on board for the flight 2000 500 pounds into the scratch pad and then line select L3 to place 2,500 pounds into the cargo. Fuel, we're going to put our gate fuel. We have 10,500 pounds of gate fuel into the scratch pad and then line select L4 to input the 10,500 pounds of fuel. Cruise altitude for the flight, we can put flight level 270 or you can put 27,000. Either way, we line select R1 next to cruise altitude to put in our cruise altitude of flight level 270. So after our basic operating weight and 70 passengers, 2,500 pounds of cargo, 10,500 pounds of gate fuel, it gives us a zero fuel weight of 59,920 pounds and a gross takeoff weight for takeoff of 70,420 pounds we verify that with our crew member, and after we confirm it, we can execute it. We would round up the 70,420 pounds to 71,000 pounds and use that for our flap 8 takeoff speeds that we would put into the PFD. A couple of other things that we want to check on the performance. You can see that this is page 1 of 3. We can move to next page and we can make our performance data a little bit more accurate by in inputting the ISA deviation, positive or negative, in cruise. We can put in climb, cruise, and descent planned winds off of our release, either as a minus or negative winds. And then we can go to page three of three and input the amount of reserves, the reserve fuel that we have for our release, and the amount of taxi fuel that we're given off of our release just to make our performance data more accurate. One last thing to go to is the VNAV setup. VNAV setup has three pages. We want to verify that our target speeds of climb are inputted correctly. So below 10,000 feet, 250 knots, above that to 290, and Mach 0.70. We actually use Mach 0.74, so you can put slash 0.74 to input that mock change for the target climb, we would have to confirm that with our crew member and then execute. On page 2, we can input the cruise speed of what we've planned for. For this flight, it's planned for Mach 0.78, so we can put Mach 0.78 and then put it into the target speed on L2, or excuse me, L1 for our cruise speed. We would have to verify that and then execute it with our crew member. And then lastly, on page three of three, our planned descent speeds. Mach 0.74 or 290 until 10,000 and then 250 below 10. And that's how you input and verify all the performance numbers in the CRJ700F.